hello again you guys i feel like the only time i ever talk to y'all is in my room only because like i don't know i'm taking in the moment um and it'd be weird for me to just like walk around and vlog like in the middle of these ancient egyptian um monuments and stuff so you guys are just getting a recap when i'm in my room but look at this so i got this so this is my name in the egyptian um hieroglyphics or however you say it in the egyptian symbols anyway we went to avu temple today and that was probably the one excursion that i have been like so excited about seeing and it was amazing you guys like it just literally blows my mind to like see how well before their time the egyptians were like how like what made you want to even like carve out a whole temple on the side of a mountain like it's insane and it it looks amazing now like i can only imagine how amazing it looked like crisp right when they were done you know lines smooth everything like that like it's insane everything that they accomplished with like such little tools that they had back then like the that temple was made like four thousand years ago or it was made in 4000 bc i don't know it was made a long time ago and it looked good still they actually had to move the entire temple because it was on the side of the mountain but the nile is like constantly rising hashtag global warming so they had to literally cut them pieces by pieces and move it like further up the mountain um and they say that the nile is still consistently rising they tried to sell stuff from the boat i low-key kind of want a blanket though <laughs> Hustle never ends. to this village basically to see how they live and how they structure their community and they run purely on everyone is for everyone but what's really interesting is that when we were going you know beforehand they told us to bring like supplies like books or crayons or different things like that but um our tour guide really emphasized that we should not give them money he wanted to let people know that they are not poor people. They choose to live this way and they love the way they live. You know, they have everything that they need and money is not going to help or solve any of their issues. It's the way they're really preserving their culture. And it's really interesting that this specific village that we're in and that we went to visit, they are a direct line of the Egyptian royalty. They are incredibly smart people and they are choosing to preserve their culture and show people that.
hi you guys currently in Hargada I hope I am pronouncing that correctly um, we just took like a five hour bus ride from Luxor here this is literally my last night in Egypt and I'm so sad I've had such an amazing time here um, today was so tiring though it was just one after the other after the other seeing all the temples it was exhausting it was hot but it was just absolutely amazing definitely we saved the best for last um we have a pretty busy night tonight's our last night so of course we're gonna party try and have as much as a good time as possible it sucks because this was like a nine day trip which i feel like is a decent amount of time and we really did see all of egypt like we went from the very bottom a lot of people well some people went to alexandra which is like the very top of egypt i personally didn't get to do that but it's okay but i feel like i've gotten the full egypt experience and i've experienced this country so and it's been absolutely amazing um i'm definitely gonna make sit down videos to explain my experience my experience with kentiki my experience as a black woman traveling my experience as a black woman traveling solo um in egypt and kind of just explain like things to look out for things to be aware of things i wish i would have known so if anyone watches this video and you have questions maybe leave it down in the comment box to um maybe see if i can answer some of those for you guys but yeah i'm just gonna enjoy the last night anyway gonna enjoy the night tomorrow we are doing snorkeling super excited for that it's gonna be on the red sea i have heard amazing things about the red sea that it is one of the best places to snorkel and scuba dive um not scuba diving wish i had more time but honestly i feel like i i'll be back because we're we're only here for like barely one day and i just don't think that's enough time for horgata especially this is like the number one tourist spot in egypt this is where everyone comes to vacation even like the locals so gonna do dinner we're going to a shisha bar aka hookah party tonight spend the next day on the cruise and then head back to cairo and then i'm going to my next destination <laughs> Anyway, I've been talking way too long already. See you then. Yeah. Having one again. Say hi. Yeah. 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 Look alive, people. Look alive. Look like you're having fun. <laughs> Do you love me?